Okay, well, I thought uh, it would be good to give you an idea of how I think about data and interfaces and also in terms of application design. This is a uh, blast from the past. This is actually my Lingo code library, Lingo being the scripting language for Macromedia Director, now called Adobe Director. Some of this code is really, really old, but the point here is the way in which the structure is organized. So you can see there's the interface section and the interface ingredients are made up of keyboard and the cursor and what can you do with the cursor and navigation within the director environment and how would you do that. They could be buttons, they have various states, uh, you could have a slider, a pop-up menu, and uh, a, there's a child object. These things are in blue are child objects. This thing is so old it actually won't open up the child objects anymore. I'm trying to resuscitate them. But be that as it may, um, so everything at the top you have everything that has anything to do with the interface. Uh, then as we move down, the next one is the scenes, which are destinations inside director. And you can have an internal link or an external link. And uh, they have their various actions and reactions accordingly. Then moving down to the next big section is the data section. And there could be internal or external data. They could come from different places. They can manifest themselves in different ways, such as lists. And they have triggers and conditions and flags and so on and so forth. This also, from the external data, ties into director's file I.O., which was one of the other ways of bringing in data from the outside into the environment. And a thing to count how many files there are in a folder and all this kind of jazz. So anything having to do with the storage of data internal or external, you know, in and out, the, uh, the throughway there. Next there's functions, just basic functions, and events and ancestor events are a director peculiarity, parent-child stuff, basically. And, uh, you know, just various utilities, and then at the bottom is uh, all about an entity inside director, because director is sort of like, uh, um, bears a, can at times bear a passing resemblance to an artificial life uh, laboratory. So you can create characters and they can have properties, um, audio visual properties. They could be made out of text. They could be made out of any number of different things, including flash objects. So all the code that handles that. So anyway, this is, uh, that's just the basic rundown from top to bottom of the hierarchy of the data here. Uh, but that's just the beginning because this just looks like a basic kind of dated crude sort of uh, flow chart. But, uh, the idea here is that you can actually switch back and forth uh, between diagram mode, which we just saw, and uh, outline mode. And outline mode is actually Microsoft Word compliant RTF flavored uh, outline files. So you can import and export outline files, push a button, and voila, you'll instantly have a diagram that you can uh, twist to your heart's content. So here we see the hierarchy of uh, the outline and if you look over on the left hand side there's a little icon on the side that indicates that these items have notes and notes are basically like sticking a sticky note onto one of these objects here and I'll show you what they look like when you expose all the sticky notes all at once for all of the objects it looks sort of like this these little yellow sticky notes they actually travel along with the objects so the nice what, I, what really attracted me to this whole thing is that I could attach chunks of code to objects in a visual system, and then I could just grab a hold of an entire tree worth of objects and slice and dice them, splice them wherever I needed to create new structures. You know, So when I go in and actually copy and paste these buttons, these boxes, uh, the code travels along with them. So. Uh, so you have your best possible, you know, your, 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 your finely minted, refined version of your code uh, always, you know, at your fingertips. And here's what some of that code actually looks like. Uh, <laughs> wow, March 31st, 1998, the famous FBC all-purpose go-to behavior, which uh, this sustained my career for a number of years, this, this chunk of code here. It allows you to go any place inside Director. This tool is really interesting, and I'd like to explore using it for rapid prototyping stuff. I like to use whatever tool is the right thing to use. Some of these somewhat obscure softwares can really be quite useful and uh, uh, help productivity.